Let's talk about something that's as mysterious as it is misunderstood. The science behind the female orgasm. For centuries, this topic has fascinated not just scientists, but just about everyone who's ever wondered what exactly is going on during that moment of pure bliss. Here's the real science. So what actually an orgasm? The World Health Organization calls it a variable transient peak sensation of intense pleasure, creating an altered state of consciousness. In other words, it's a mind-blowing few seconds, physically and mentally. For women, this means involuntary muscle contractions in the vagina, uterus and pelvic floor, happening about every 0.8 seconds. And here's the wild part, having an orgasm lights up over 30 regions of the brain. We're talking memory, emotion, reward, it's a full body, full brain event. Let's break down the anatomy for a second. The clitoris is the star of the show with about 8,000 sensory nerve endings. That's double what you'll find in the penis. But here's the twist. The clitoris extends deep inside the body with structures called the crura and vestibular bulbs. So stimulation goes way beyond what you see on the surface. And then there's the infamous G-spot. Turns out, it's not just one thing. It's probably a combo of clitoral tissue, the urethral sponge and the front wall of the vagina working together. Plus, other erogenous zones like the nipples, cervix, or even just your imagination can trigger an orgasm too. Quick question, have you ever wondered if women can have multiple orgasms? Drop your thoughts in the comments, I'd love to see what you think. On the physiological side, arousal kicks off with the parasympathetic nervous system, sending blood flow to the genitals and creating all that classic swelling and lubrication. But as orgasm hits, the sympathetic system takes over, causing those signature muscle contractions. Meanwhile, your brain is releasing a cocktail of chemicals, dopamine for pleasure, oxytocin for bonding, endorphins for euphoria, and prolactin for relaxation. Did you know there are different kinds of orgasms? Clitoral is the most common, but some experience vaginal or even blended orgasms. And unlike men, women don't have a long recovery time. Studies show up to 40% can have more than one orgasm in a single session. Best part? Orgasms aren't just for fun. They relieve stress, strengthen your pelvic floor, boost immunity, and even help you sleep better. They can also bring couples closer together, emotionally and physically. So next time you think about the female orgasm, remember, it's not just about pleasure. It's a symphony of biology, chemistry, and brain power. And it tells us a lot about what it means to be human. If you're into science-based breakdowns like this, hit subscribe for more human physiology. Explain with real science.